Welcome to Positive Thinking TV. Stop worrying and start trusting God. We shall be looking at how to stop worrying and start trusting God. What are the physical and spiritual implications of worrying? What is the human and God's position about worry and worrying? And what is the relationship between worry and trust? To start with, let me state first that worry is the state of being unduly anxious and troubled about expectant problems. The problems may or may not occur, but you are already engulfed in the likely consequences. This type of action negatively affects the person's total being, spirit, soul, and body. It kills the power of logical reasoning. It takes fresh from the body, and it troubles the mind and the spirit. The totality of its effects is harmful to man. It is for these reasons that worrying is discouraged medically and scripturally. One thing with worry that even makes it more unnecessary and of no use is that it doesn't even solve nor has solutions to what you are worried about. And there is even no certainty that what you are concerned about is what is happening. In fact, in many cases, what we worry about doesn't even occur eventually. It is like someone paying extra debts on what he has owed or punishing himself for a crime he has not committed, which is unnecessary and unbelievable. Even if the event eventually happened as expected, one faces it then to have faced even the worst consequence before the real events. And when it didn't happen, what has one gained for unnecessarily matting out punishment on his or herself for no other reason than lack of faith because God has assured us of his providence and protection? And interestingly, as we have earlier noted, most of the things we worry about do not always become the eventuality after we might have suffered ourselves bodily, soul and spirit. It is against this abnormality that the Bible admonishes believers never to worry about anything, but always pray and put their trust in God, to bring events to pass, as they desire. In Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, the Bible admonishes, never worry about anything, but in every situation let God know what you need in prayers and requests while giving thanks. The Bible gave a prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, as a panacea and alternative to worrying. It recommended prayers, supplication, and thanksgiving instead of worrying. The Bible sees and describes worrying as an act of faithlessness and lack of trust in God. We also saw the consequence of disbelieving God. In 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 1 to 2 through 16 to 17, one of the high-ranking officers of the king of Israel doubted God's ability to deliver, as he said he would and went for it. He died for disobeying God. 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 1 to 2. Elisha said, Listen to the Lord's word. This is what the Lord says, About this time tomorrow seven quarts of fine flour will be sold for two-fifths of an ounce of silver, and thirteen quarts of barley will be sold for two-fifths of an ounce of silver. This will happen at the gate of Samaria. Then the officer who was close to the king answered Elisha, Even if the Lord opened windows in the sky, that couldn't happen. Elisha said, You will see it with your eyes, but you will not eat any of it. 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 16 to 17 Then the people went out and took valuables from the Aramean camp. So seven quarts of fine flour were sold for two-fifths of an ounce of silver, and thirteen quarts of barley were sold for two-fifths of an ounce of silver, just as the Lord had said. The king chose the officer who was close to him to guard the gate, but the people trampled the officer to death. This happened just as Elisha had told the king when the king came to his house. Here we see that lack of faith in God's word is unacceptable to God. And this is mainly expressed by worrying. And we also know that lack of faith and trust in God is abhorrent to God. Speaking about this, Apostle Paul wrote that without faith you couldn't please God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 But without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Here we can see that worry has dual effects on man. 1. Pitching man against God By not trusting his assured providence, protection etc. Which with God amounts to faithlessness. We also know from the scriptures that it is by faith that we are made right with God. 2. Worries also disorganize a person's health, fitness, and total composure. 
Jesus has this to say concerning worries. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 to 28. So I tell you to stop worrying about what you will eat, drink, or wear. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds. They don't plant, harvest, or gather the harvest into barns. Yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you worth more than they? Can any of you add a single hour to your life by worrying? And why worry about clothes? Notice how the flowers grow in the field. They never work or spin yarn for clothes. In verse 31, he says still. Don't ever worry and say, what are we going to eat? Or what are we going to drink? Or what are we going to wear? Here Jesus prescribes trust and total submission. And dependence on God for our daily provisions. Though without prejudice to working hard. What he, the Lord, is saying. In other words, is that. There is no justification for giving into worrying. Not even for the basic needs of man. Ordinarily. Those items he listed should have been the good justification. For worry because they are very basic in life and existence. Still, instead of worrying, he said we should rather put our trust in God to provide them. God works best and faster when we trust. And have faith in him while doing our best. In Romans chapter 10 verse 11. The Bible says, as the scripture says, anyone who trusts in him will never be disappointed. The Bible is saying here. That the condition for God's intervention. In our needs or desires is to put our trust in him. Or to have faith. In his promises. Faithlessness and lack of trust in God have very many negative consequences. Ranging from. 1. Not being able to please God as seen in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. 2. Not receiving anything from God as we see. In James chapter 1 verse 6 to 7. But when you ask God, you must believe and not doubt. Anyone who doubts is like a wave in the sea, blown up and down by the wind. Such doubters are thinking two different things simultaneously, and they cannot decide about anything they do. They should not think they will receive anything from the Lord. In conclusion, worrying is very unnecessary. And does no one good. Rather than worrying. We should trust in God's promises and providence. For God loves us and means well for us. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. I say this because I know what I am planning for you, says the Lord. I have good plans for you, not plans to hurt you. I will give you hope and a good future. We appreciate you watching this video till the end. Consider subscribing. So that you do not miss out on other exciting videos. That we post every Wednesday and Saturday. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. We hope you like and drive value from this video. We love you.